Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and in today's video, we're gonna put some fire on your text. So take out your fire suits and let's get, okay, maybe not. Anyways, this is very easy to create and I'm going to show you how to do this in After Effects. So before I begin, if you guys are new here, then please consider subscribing and make sure to press that bell icon so that you never miss another amazing video like this. So without wasting any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and in order to create this effect, we are going to use a free plugin. It's called Saber. It's from Video Copilot. And if you haven't installed it, I will put a link in the description below from where you can download it and install it. It's very easy to install. So once you have it, you can easily follow this tutorial. Also, you will notice that I have these fire footage and particle footage over here. So I'll put a link in the description as well for these files so you can download it from there and you can import it in After Effects and after that you are ready to go. So first we are going to create a new composition. So let's go to composition, new comp and let's call this main and width and height will be 1920 by 1080 frame rate we are going to go with 30 FPS and you can choose whatever you want. Duration let's go with 10 seconds just click on OK. So now we have our comp. First we are going to create our text so select the text tool and you can choose whatever font you want I'm going to choose Gibson so just click anywhere you want and after that you can type your text I'm simply going to type fire because why not and let's set this to bold also align this in the center of the composition if you're not able to see the align panel you can go to windows and from here you can enable it also let's move its anchor point in the center so either you can use a script something like this or you can simply select the layer hold down the control key and then double click on this pan anchor tool and it will automatically make the anchor point in the center now let's select the text tool and let's press s and let's scale this up something like this yeah i think this look good so here we have our text now we are going to create a new solid so let's go to layer new or you can just simply right click new and solid just make it black color and let's call this fire just click on ok so we have our solid just make sure to place it above the text layer and now we are going to add some effects to this so let's go under the effects and preset and type saber just simply select it and just drag it onto your solid layer and right away you can see that we have this really nice glowing line and now we are going to first customize its core so go under the customize core option and from here let's select our text layer and now it will ask you which text layer you want to select so let's go to uh, fire text layer and under this option let's leave it to source so right away you can see that we have our text and it is very bright so first we are going to change the preset so let's go and from here we can select the fire one so right away you can see that we have some really nice fire looking effect and first thing i'm going to lower down its core size so that we can see it properly so let's lower it down to something like two yeah so i think this is looking fine and if you want you can set this mode to add so that your text will be visible but for now i'm going to hide it something like this so if i play back here you can see that we have our text and it already has some fire kind of animation so let's enhance this more so now we are going to add some flames to this for that we are going to use this fire footage so just simply select it and drag it into the composition and let's select this press s to scale it down something like this now i'm going to apply an effect onto this called curves so just simply select it and drag it over here now i'm going to make it a little bit brighter something like this and let's add a little bit of contrast just like that now in order to make this appear onto the fire we are going to change its mode so let's select this and let's go to add also if you are not able to see these modes then you can just simply click over here on this icon and it will make it visible so now we have our fire and you will notice that we are able to see some of these lines don't worry we are going to fix that by using simple mask so let's select the pen tool and make sure your layer is selected after that we are going to create a rough mask so just simply go ahead and just draw a very rough mask around it something like this after that you can select the layer you can press F on the keyboard or you can go under the mask properties and from here we are going to add a little bit of feathering just like this 
Also, let's add some contrast to this. So now you can see that the edges are hardly visible. If you want to get completely rid of it, you can just simply lower it down. Something like this. Now you can see that we are not able to see there. So now let's place it somewhere around here. First, I'm going to select this, press S to scale this down. And then we are going to find a suitable position from where we can add this. So let's rotate this. And let me just align it over here. So first I'm going to play it. You can see that in the beginning there is a little bit of delay in the fire footage. So we are going to just make it move further. Just like that. So we have our fire over here. And I'm going to align it around this E letter. Something like this. So we don't want the fire to be on top of it. So we, what we can do is we can just simply use the mask and just make it something like this so that it will appear that the fire is behind the text something like this just like that yeah so i think this is looking much better also we can place it below our layer just like that yeah so i think this is looking fine can probably place it somewhere around here and now let's select it and we are going to probably lower down its brightness to match the colors something like this yeah i think this is looking much better if you want you can play around with the rgp channels and you can just go ahead and try to find a look that matches your fire so i think yeah this is looking fine because we are going to add few elements on top of this and after that it will completely blend with it now I'm going to select this and press Ctrl D to duplicate it one more time and I'm going to select this and just move it somewhere around here and I'm going to place it along the F. So let's just make it something like this. So now if I play back here you can see that we have our fire over here as well. And I'm going to probably scale this up just like this. So there you go. Now we have our text and it is on fire. So I think we are pretty much done with this and we are going to add some heat distortion on top of this because you might have noticed whenever there is a fire, the air above it gets really hot and you will see some kind of distortion in it. So we are going to apply that effect on top of this. So for that I'm going to go to layer new and we are going to create an adjustment layer. So let's rename this to distortion and after this I'm going to apply an effect called turbulent displays. Just search for it and just drag it on top of it. So in order to make this effect we are going to tweak these two parameters amount and size. So let's set this to 20 and let's set the size to something like 22. So you can play around with these values, but I have figured out that these two values look really nice. So now if I change the evolution, you can see that we have this distortion kind of look. So we are going to animate the evolution by simply using an expression. So you can hold down the alt key or option key if you are on Mac, then click on this stopwatch. And after that, I'm going to type time times 500. Just click anywhere you want. And now if I play back, here you can see that we have some really nice heat distortion on top of it. You can probably disable this layer to check out its effect. Something like this. So now we are pretty much done with our look and let's add some particles to it. So let's select our particle one and let's apply it on top of all the layers. Just make sure that it's below the distortion layer because we want our distortion to be on particles as well. So let's move this layer uh, further apart something around here and now if i play back here you can see that we have the particles going in the random directions so this is exactly what we want so in order to make the below layers visible we are going to change its mode to add so now you can see that we have our particles and in order to change their color we are going to apply a simple effect called tint so just simply search for it apply it onto the particles and let's change their color map white to something 
that looks like fire so yeah i think this is looking fine also if you want you can apply curves to this or glow on top of it to make it stand out yeah so i think this is looking much better and let me just quickly select the particles and let's duplicate it by pressing ctrl d now i'm going to press r to rotate it and let's rotate it by 180 degree also i'm going to move this layer a little bit ahead so that we have some particles flowing from top as well and let's change the color of these particles to something like this bright yellow just like that and now i'm going to select it and press t for opacity and let's lower down its opacity to something like this so now if i play back here you can see that we have some particles going along and now let me just quickly add a background to this so again i'm going to right click create new solid and let's call this pg for background just click on ok and we are going to place this at the very bottom and on this one i'm going to apply an effect called four color gradient so you can just type four and just drag it onto this so right away you can see that it has really bright colors and we are going to select some darker colors that matches the fire something like this and let's set black to this one black to this as well and let's set this color and let's darken it out as well so now we have our colors and we are going to probably move these points further apart something like this and let's move it somewhere around here and let's move it just like that also if you want you can add some redness to the blacks as well just like this so if i play back here you can see that we have this kind of look and which is looking very nice and we have a last element to add on top of it so again i'm going to right click go to new and let's create solid just click on ok and on this one i'm going to type saber as well also select the solid after that you can just simply double click on it and it will create a mask because we are going to use this mask to map these glowing edges to this one so let's select the solid and under the customize core option let's select the layer mask and you can see that now our glow is around the edges again we can select this and change the mode to add if you want you can change the color to something like this if you want to go with this look but for this one we are going to select another preset which is this firestorm and now i'm going to probably scale this up a little bit and then we can select the pen tool and just select this edge points and i'm going to just move them a little bit to the above just like this and let me do the same thing with this one as well just like that so you can see that we have some heat distortion on the left side but we are not able to see them on the right side so for that i'm going to select these endpoints and just move them a little bit closer not this much just a little yeah i think this is looking much better so now you can see that we have some glowing edges and heat distortion at the edges as well again it's completely up to you you can play around with these you can probably scale this up just like that so now you can see that we have some really nice heat waves on the edges as well so yeah i think this is looking much better now if you want you can add some smoke on top of it but i think this is looking much better if you want you can create a, another adjustment layer and let's apply our final curves to this to make it really pop out just apply it on top of everything and just add a little bit of s curve something like this yeah so it adds a little bit of contrast to the scene just like that yeah so i think this is looking much better also if you want your text to be visible under this you can just simply enable your text just like that and if you think that this is too much then you can press t and lower down its opacity something like this now you can see that we have a different kind of look 
or you can apply a fill effect to this just search for it and apply it onto the text and from here i'm going to select a dark color something like this so now you can see that we have our text and you know the best thing about this method you can just simply select it and you can type whatever text you want and right away you can see that it will automatically update over here you might have to change the position of these fire elements but rest of the things will remain same so this is how you can create your fiery text the project files for this tutorial will be available on patreon so if you are supporting me over there then you can download it from there also if you are not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files plus other exciting templates that are available only for patreons based on your tier so that's it for this tutorial if you guys have any queries or questions you can ask in the comments below also if you want to see more tutorials like these then make sure to subscribe and don't forget to press that bell icon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one Thank you.